Hey guys, welcome back. It's going to be looking at you for another video for Red Shadows. Welcome back to the channel. Hopefully you're doing well. And hopefully you are having a great week uh, going. Uh, plenty of stuff going on. Fusion's just about to kick off. And plenty of stuff in the game to do. Um, personally, myself, I'm skipping this Fusion just generally because I don't have the shards, etc. And uh, resting as well and rebuilding the resources because Curse City has been very demanding i'm enjoying the week off from Curse city as now i've cleared that content anyway let's get into today's video today's gonna be another champion showcase on one of the other mythicals right it's not a world's strongest mythical or anything like that but we are going to talk about the strongest mythical right now in p versus p in ray shower legends and why he is the strongest we're going to showcase that today so we are talking about uh, the one and only, nope, one and only um, Star Sage, Star Star Age, Star Age. Um, basically, him being the strongest mythic on the game. Now, when I first looked at his kit, I didn't think he was the strongest, but he is actually the strongest. He's better than Queen uh, and stuff like that. So, what's he got going on in his kit, which is better? We're gonna go over that now uh so what we're gonna do is see this one uh first form attacks all enemies fills the target turn meter of all allies by 10 percent also fills the target turn meter of a ally by five percent if they have a active buff placed on them by this champion so it has to be placed by this champion uh to make it work now removes all debuffs from all allies then heals them by 20 percent 25 percent of this champion's max HP fills all turn meter of all allies by 15% and places a block debuff on them for two turns. And this is going to be on a three turn cooldown with a 20% increased heal. This is a hell of a heal. Like, this is a massive heal. Like, you couldn't get much better than that. So, yeah, super strong, etc. Revives all dead allies with 50% turn meter and 50 percent uh, hp places a perfect veil on them for on all enemies expect this champion for two turns it's on a four turn cooldown so he's like a duchess with a he's like a duchess with a revive very similar and then i'm trying to think who is like supposedly like rio uh we were cleanse here but this max hp like this is a great great kit on the first form for P versus P or P versus Z, right? Go second teams, etc. This champion receive less five percent less damage for each one hundred resistance placed on this champion. Stacks up to twenty five percent. So kind of extra way to make him extra tanky, etc. So prevents this champion's death and then delays them uh, and keeps them alive by one HP when they hit by a fatal hit. Then equalize their HP. Their max, uh, the HP level of this champion will be brought up to the average HP level of the team. Damn, what a passive, like crazy passive here with an active effect plus a uh, active uh, effect as well. So active, passive effect and a active effect. Wow, what a kit. And then he has aura in all battles of 80 and resistance. So great champion, like. Yeah, this guy for Curse City. Whew, no worries. No worries. Let's see what he's got in a second form then. He attacks all enemies, decreases the turn. Uh, dec blah. Attacks all enemies, decreases the target turn meter by, of all enemies by 10%. Decreases the turn meter of each enemy by an extra 5% if they're under a deactivated stun, resistance, or <clears throat> block type skills placed by his champion. Attacks all enemies before attacking, removing all debuffs from all enemies, then placing blocked active skills for two turns. This attack cannot trigger counter attacks. Huge ability for Taurus and Mariska here. Just being able to stop Taurus doing his um, A2 and his A3, like really cool ability. The only problem is Sheep, obviously, uh, but this is on a free turn cooldown, so you'll see it's quite consistent. Then we also have a A3 here with. Wow, what a free. Uh places a 50% increased attack on all allies for two turns. Sorry, accuracy, not attack. 
then places 50% decrease resistance on all enemies for two turns and then stuns the debuffs on then stun, stuns them for one turn damn what ability here <clears throat> also ignores 20% resistance as well wow so he's basically reducing their accuracy levels down to the ground and he is soaring his accuracy into the high round so like you could really do some stuff it's got a really good base resistance of 50 uh, I suppose it's a little bit better than average probably the highest speed in the game right now I think there's only one champion higher than this uh, there is a few champions on 115 so really cool good defense and good HP right so a super strong kit so let's go and take him into the arena and see what we can do okay so let's get into it then um before we go and start smacking stuff i'm not gonna try and kill him straight away i'm gonna toy with him a little bit uh before we get into the fight so i want to kind of showcase the whole teams and show what the kit the kits are doing and stuff like that so um let me show you what's going on uh into the team so we have a clan mate of mine who is super super strong he's got a super strong team uh i mean we'll show you what to do right or it's probably not gonna use his kit correctly and how you should do it but um i kind of want to show you everything that's going on in the kit right so that's kind of my thinking in here so in the a2 we have a big heal uh we have a remove we have a cleanse and then a term meter. So we did all that earlier. We have a revive here and term meter here, which you can't generally use it outside that. You have to revive, which is cool because it's better for the AI. So we're going to transform here. And then I think we'll start with the increase uh, attack, right? So I increase uh, accuracy and stuff. And just kind of go like this. We're then just going to do our stuff here set ourselves up nicely oh the king being very very naughty and then you'll see the counter attack here so super strong with counter attack because you're decreasing all their turn meter which is super cool to see then <clears throat> we are then gonna do this which would be the strip so we didn't strip uh, Mariushka which it is what it is, then we go transform and basically do it all over again uh, with the strip there. So the lizard man is going to come in because he is one of the main DPS champions right now, and he's going to do a smackaroo for me. That smackaroo hurt, you can tell it hurt. But then we're going to put up our blocked, uh, block damage and wait for them to do their thing. And counter attack is always nice as well if you can get it and then we'll do the stun because the queen's not there no more and we're just waiting for the stone skin to shift itself and then revive and then do a smackaroo when we can in a second and a smackaroo damn right pretty cool champion i uh, want to be attacking people basically that i'm going to go before so let's keep uh, looking. Uh, let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see. <clears throat> mm -mm -mm. Let's take on Sun God. Let's see what Sun God's got. So <clears throat> we need to take on some type of uh, speed champion here, just so we don't get outrun. And this fusion starts doing horrible things to us, like uh, stunning, turn me to drop, and all that shenanigans, right? Uh, we're going to come in with a lockout, and we also got a sun god as well here, so we need to be super careful against him, because we know like he's going to be pretty strong against us as well. So I'm actually going to come in with a accuracy and stun him, which we do super nice we're then gonna do lizard man's nuke and just show them what a the floor looks like right taurus goes down it's not a game set match yet unfortunately because sun god has a revive ready but it's on his second form so i kind of want to show you like how his passive works as well which is a bit 
uh, a bit funny, really. So we're going to go into Lizard Man. We've got the AOE ready. And you can just see that he does not like dying, right? He's going to come in with the block after skills against us. And then we're just going to basically do our best against him right now. He can't revive yet. So will he show his passive? No. I thought he was going to show his passive there, but uh, Sun God got a little bit unlucky. We made him look like a snack. So uh, we have fields here as well. He's super quick, actually. I think he's a little bit faster than us, if I'm not mistaken. So let's go ahead and look for this one. I do like taking uh, this one. Uh, we're bringing him back in. I just have like a re I just really enjoyed using him the other day, to be honest. I did a champion showcase on him the other day, so go check out our ping at the end of this video. <clears throat> Super cool kit. P versus E, P versus E slash P versus P champion as well. Super strong. Honestly, a lot of the mythicals can do that in some sense. And I think a lot of the mythicals are diverse as well. Anyway, we've got a sleep there. We're going to do the cleanse with the block buffs, which is going to be super cool. Then we're going to do Mr. Lizardman's uh, nuke. Oh, no, I did the wrong one. I did the wrong nuke. I did the A3 and then the nuke. Oh, wow. It's even better, right? That's why you should go and check his uh, video out for another day. Because he's super cool champion. Anyway, we are then going to transform. So he had his um, spot, I suppose, with there. We're then going to try and do strip, which we don't get, unfortunately. And the Lizardman remove it. He does so good against moving strip Lizardman. Uh, just stone skin in general. And there's a big boy nuke. They even need to transform, right? Then we have uh masala whatever his name is i can't pronounce his name to be honest we're gonna go ahead and tag him see what we can do he has a uh orc there and the orc is super strong also did a champion showcase on her last week as well so go and check that one out if you have her anyway hopefully you have her she's super cool oh we got stripped we got the sheep sorry now we're in trouble Okay, so we are in trouble. We're going to try and save this. We allowed ourselves to come out of that. So we're going to come in with a strip. And then see what else he's got. Uh, come in here. I don't think we need to reset so much, That's actually, to be fair. Uh, we're going to pull the block damage just to give us some security. And then we'll see how big this heal is. 26k, not too shabby. Not the strongest of heals, I must say. Or well, don't feel like it's the strongest of heals. And then Lizard Man's going to say, Night, night, sir. And we're going to get a lock out there as well. So there is his second form. If I saw his first form in action. I kind of feel like it's his second form, but it's not. Um, but you can see that it's kind of really cool, right? Now I'm going to try and strip him here. We strip everything other than stone skin. So we're going to go ahead, hit auto. And see what it's going to do, right? Um, anyway, guys, let me down in the comments what you think about these uh, mythicals. And if you have any mythicals yourself, I want to hear from you guys. Or what's the next champion showcase mythicals that you'd like to see? On the channel and then we'll go ahead and do that as well so then we have unnamed we can go ahead and have look we've got the hardest hitting mythical on this team and we also have sheep sheep and sheep 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 right um it's a bit like if you i don't know if you guys speak how the language but how the language goes sheep sheep and then tap tap sheep sheep right uh, anyone who watches my streams or watches this video will know what uh, how the language is. If you want to know, go and check out the streams. The link is down in below. Uh, we stream basically five to six days a week. So we're always having a good laugh. 
bit of a gig on in a good music, good people, good community, right? So, and then we're doing takeovers as well, especially like live ring and stuff. All right, so she's going to do her thing, do the reset here. Uh, I'm actually going to transform here and try slowing down. Uh, nope, I get uh, sheeped instead. <laughs> Rima gets sheeped instead. Uh, okay, let's try and transform. And see if we can kill anyone. Nope. Instead, we get killed instead. Uh, let's play the block damage. I think he's dead. I think that's a, a glitch. Yes, he is. He's a goner. He's gone. I don't know where he's gone, but he's gone. <laughs> anyway, let's do the reset there. See what we can do. Uh, we've also lost a queen. But it's okay. We want to kind of see this in action. We can't win every fight as well. That's a big boy, Nuke. Uh, we have one chance to shot this. Oh, mate. Oh, we did. <laughs> I thought he was about to hit my but I uh, still don't think his passive is working correctly, right? I don't feel like it's meant to do that. I feel like he's meant to be a bit more. I don't know. I don't feel like that's working correct. It's one of the reasons that stops me using mine on my account, is actually for that reason. So let me down and know if it's, that is meant to work like that. Apparently, Playroom said that is meant to work. I. Personally, don't think they just don't know how to fix it. Personally. Anyway, we have another fusion one here. So we're going to come ahead and do this. Um, and why not, right? It's going to be super cool. Uh, we've got fusion. We've got Georgie. We love smackling Georgie on the channel. And showing Georgie that he is dog's dinner compared to the Reds. So we're then going to do this into him i know it's a little bit of a waste but it is what it is uh we're gonna do the awe stun we're gonna tell the fusion how do you like being stunned sir well how do you like being stunned because you're the one stunning people all the time i know i just smack them like super easy team to smack to be fair uh anyway it's not about smacking ruse or anything like that we are gonna go and look for one more fight which is going to be a toughie and see what we can do. So we've got double Taurus here. Uh, we have a Mariska, uh, sorry, Alva as well. So this is going to be really difficult for me to kind of take on because I'm not used to taking this style of teams on. Uh, so we're going to do what we can do, right? We've got the Lizard. We've got Lockout. I'm just going to change the Lockout, I think. I think we go Triple Nuke. I think we go Triple Nuke. I think we go, yeah, I think we go with the triple nuke. I don't know why we're going to go triple nuke, but we're going to go triple nuke. Because, like, in all sense, all these mythicals, they bring other utilities, and they kind of fit each other like chalk and cheese. It's kind of weird saying that, but they do fit together like chalk and cheese. So, it's like crackers and cheese. You know, you know, don't have crackers without cheese, right? So, uh, anyway. We're going to try and get the lockout there. We don't, unfortunately, get the lockout, which is a little bit annoying. We'll play the, uh, the thingy, but we don't get it. Strip. And then, obviously, they're going to do that. So we'll hit a Taurus, because we know that we're not meant to hit Rishka, right? In some sense. When they the Taurus go come and do their big abilities now. And we should have block damage up for it all. Mm. Okay, so there's not much we can really do there. He's gonna drop, unfortunately. There wasn't much I can do in there really. Mm -hmm. I'm actually gonna make this guy right now change because we can pretty much control that mm. 
shouldn't be able to kill me. No, it can't. Lovely jubbly. I can see these two being like an absolute powerhouse together. Mm. Oh, and they revive Mariska. No, what are you doing that for? Mm. Yep, yeah, um, so the block damage must be on cooldown. Mm -hmm. Uh, is there any way I can save this? I don't think there is. We can probably take a Taurus out in the process. Yeah, she's done her thing now, so there's nothing we can really do there. I was kind of hoping to see the, the kit a little bit in there, but we wasn't able to. Tool's got like a super good double Taurus. There is other ways I can beat that, but it's not about beating that right now. It's about um, champion showcase. Uh, just one champion. So anyway, let me go ahead and show you what is going on in this kit. And I'll kind of explain why this kit is a bit different. Uh, so where is he? He's a plus one. There is a lot of champion accounts on this. So we actually have a four piece protection and a untouchable set. And there is a reason to this. Now, when I saw this myself, I looked at it and it was like, what's going on here? But I, I read the kit properly and now I fully understand on why the champion is built correctly. So we have 87,000 HP. We have 4,373 uh, defense a whopping 338 speed and then we have 694 resistance and then 366 uh, accuracy now i thought you needed more accuracy to compare to resistance i was thinking well, why do you need resistance uh there is a reason why you need the resistance anyway let's go into this kit and i can't explain why so it says here on the active um effects that are not active effects sorry on the passive effect it says this champion will receive five percent less damage for each hundred resistance this will stack up to uh 25 so 500 resistance would give you a 25 so you do need a minimum of 25 uh, 500 resistance to really kind of benefit from this so i guess the resistance or over 420 resistance would be enough to benefit from this so it is something similar, I think, to like Pythons and how the more buffs you put on him, uh, it will receive less damage, right? So that is why generally if you put him with like a Duchess, a Taurus, and Mariska, he will receive way less damage. So that is why we have the resistance there uh, and stuff like that. Obviously the fusion as well, super strong. He's only 300 speed and uh, like 500 accuracy in general plus plus on the speed uh, and he, he used him in a lot in the live arena it's great counter to the fusion so uh also strong affinity to the fusion as well for like the, the stuns and the 10 meter effects so super effective and why we've got this anyway let's go and show you the rest of the gear and masteries etc we have a resistance banner with triple speed we have defense with resistance and we have basically he's just using this for the protection set yeah because he's going to get the 20 resistance plus the 25 percent chance to protect and plus the speed so kind of makes sense why not to right 12 and you've got speed with speed of stats resistance and accuracy and speed hp with speed uh we have speed speed and uh resistance and then accuracy resistance and speed then we're gonna go ahead and look at the masteries so generally it's just come down here for extra uh eagle eye and then sniper for i'm not too sure where he took sniper or uh, maybe for the a1 maybe and then we have the hexa to extend it all that kind of makes sense Eve Live for extra turn meter drop, which is going to be 5% for AoEs. So can only occur once per turn. Extra turn meter when stuff kind of wears off. And then like retribution, obviously, for that. And then extra resistance as well. So uh, probably not the best masteries in all fairness, but very solid overall. Super strong. And then for Blessing, he has gone for Temporal Chains. Obviously, you can also go Polymorph if you really want. Uh, I would probably go Polymorph myself. 
uh, just because on the style of champion that I would play him in. So there we are. There is my champion showcase. Uh, super effective champion. The best mythical in the game right now. Super effective. Let me down in the comments who you think is best mythical in the game right now. Uh, I know that a lot of top end plat players, uh, a top end of plat and live arena players are really enjoying his kit and really dread seeing him, right? He's probably right now probably the best champion in the game. Uh, super solid. And yeah, I really hope I get him on my account because I actually have a full stop blessing for him. So, Plarium inbox, please. Why not? Anyway. Uh, I've been Grim Reaper. Thank you for watching until the end. I'll see you on the next one. Peace.